Hey Mojoholics, welcome back to What's Your Mojo, the weekly show where we fill you in on what you might have missed last week, give you a sneak peek on what's coming up next week, ask your feedback, and answer viewer FAQs. Engage. In case you missed it, this week we finished up our series on the top 10 decade-defining TV shows, with the all-time list coming out today. Did your favorite make it? Were you super mad about the rankings? I know you were, but wasn't it fun to watch and argue about? I thought so. This week we also changed it up a bit by releasing top 10 famous painters. These are those iconic and influential painters who've created some of history's greatest masterpieces. Plus it'll help you with your art history classes. And finally, we released another top 10 improvised movie moments to go with our original clip on the topic. That's a list of another 10 movie scenes where actors went off the script to create something even better than what was written. Well, TGIF once again, or TGIMT as I like to say. Thank God it's Mojothon time. Okay, lame I know, but we have plenty of videos that are not quite so lame for you to watch all weekend. What have we got? Well, this weekend we start a mini series. On Saturday, we've got top 10 actors from the United Kingdom, and on Sunday, we've got top 10 actresses from the United Kingdom. So if you wanna brush up on your accents, or if you wanna see some kick-ass acting, check those out. On Saturday, we've also got top 10 motion capture performances. These are those performances by actors who had to wear a really annoying suit of some sort to get their acting on camera, but the result is probably some sort of cool dragon, ape, deformed hobbit or something. And finally on Sunday we start another mini-series about celebrities' falls from grace. This week is falls from grace in sports, and coming over the next few weeks, we've also got top 10 celebrity falls from grace and top 10 politicians' falls from grace. So tune into those and shake your heads sternly. Are you guys ready for some trivia? Let's do it. Before the show was cast, who was supposed to be the main love story on Friends? Ross and Rachel? Monica and Joey, Monica and Chandler, or Rachel and Joey? You are correct if you said Monica and Joey, but obviously they changed that to Ross and Rachel when they saw the chemistry between David Schwimmer and Jennifer Aniston. If you want to test your knowledge on that or anything else, head over to watchmojo.com slash trivia. Anyway, I'm talking to you about Friends because the show premiered September 22nd, 1994. That's 20 years ago on Monday, if you can believe it. Anyway, if you don't get enough of Ross, Rachel, Monica, Joey Chandler, and Phoebe in syndication, check them out in these videos. Top 10 decade-defining TV shows of the 1990s, How I Met Your Mother vs. Friends, Top 10 Will They or Won't They sitcom couples, Top 10 TV bromances, Top 10 TV womanizers, Top 10 sitcom catchphrases, Top 10 TV bottle episodes, Top 10 fictional restaurants, Top 10 annoying TV characters, and many, many more. Also, don't forget to make your way over to watchmojo.com slash calendar to see thousands of our older, equally timely videos. And while you're there, make sure to vote on the topics that matter most to you so we can tailor our future videos to your tastes. Before we ask you guys your opinions on a few of our lists, we thought we'd let you see where your hard work gets you. Top 10 National Anthems comes out Tuesday, September 23rd. Top 10 Unseen TV Characters comes out Wednesday, September 24th. And Top 10 Australian Tourist Destinations comes out on Thursday, September 25th. Thanks again for your help in choosing those lists. But we've got even more lists in need of your input this week. To start, one that is very close to my heart. Top 10 Pet Peeves. If you know me, you know I'm easily annoyed, so things like loud chewing and slow walking really get to me. Though I know what I'll be voting for, now you guys let your opinions fly. And next, we have another series to ask you guys about, Top 10 Animated Movies Per Decade. We're thinking that we're gonna bundle the 20s to the 70s, and then do individual lists for the 80s, 90s, 2000s, and the first half of the 2010s. But let us know what you think about that, and vote for the love of God vote. And finally, to get you guys geared up for the Halloween season, which is coming up in not that long, top 10 horror movie musical themes. You know that song that plays when you're gearing up to watch Michael Myers slow walk chasing his victims? Or the Exorcist's tubular bells? Creepy. Help us pick the creepiest. 
And as always, be sure to head over to watchmojo.com slash suggest to let us know what you think. And while you're there, make sure to exercise your right to vote on any other lists you might have an opinion on. Hello, Dan boys and Dan girls. Here we are back at the red couch to tell you all about behind the scenes at Watch Mojo and about ourselves. With me as always as leader of Dan Nation, Dan. Hello. Okay, so as some of the more shrewd viewers pointed out last week, we were supposed to tell you about my new show and then did not. And unfortunately, we're uh, not gonna be doing it again this week. Uh, but I 100% promise you that next week you will hear all about it. Or my name is not Chester Copperpot. Right. <laughs> anyway, we've got some questions here. Okay, to start we've got a Twitter question here from at Emily Neighbor. Did you have a job before you did Watch Mojo? If so, what was your job? Please answer this in your next show, thanks. Rebecca. Well, to get through school, I worked for longer than I care to admit at Walmart. And I was not a greeter, contrary to con uh, popular opinion or questioning. Uh, I worked in the women's clothing department, or as they like to call it, women's fashion. But as many people point out, that is not possible. <laughs> but anyway, you. Um, so before, directly before working at Watch Mojo, I did a lot of freelance work, some editing uh, and some production work. I worked uh, for a show called Trashopolis as a PA, also for the show called uh, All for One with Debbie Travis for the CBC. Uh, and before that, I worked at French Connection for a very long time, that's a clothing store. And even before that, I worked at uh, EB Games, which was a, uh, a video game store. It's our version of GameStop. I've got one here from Remzies who asks, Dan and Rebecca, how often do you guys completely disagree with the lists you're reading out? Any examples? Um, just off the top of my head, we did uh, top 10 artists whose songs all sound the same. And uh, Tool was on that list, and I'm a really big Tool fan, and so I really did not approve of that. Uh, did we do that when you were gone? No, okay. but like, <laughs> I just, I felt like if I argued too hard during the meeting, people could be like, oh, Dan's just biased. So like, I just let it slide. Is there another one? No, that's it. That's it? That's all I can think of. I, okay, well we did like, I think we did top 10 time machines in pop culture and I'm a huge Back to the Future fan and I think they put the TARDIS at number one and I was just like, what are you doing? And I, anyway, I, I let it go because again, when you're a super huge fan of something, you can't be like, but you have to put this at number one because everyone's like, shut up Rebecca, you don't know what you're talking about. But I also kind of didn't want to do the, uh, recently the worst Adam Sandler list because I thought it was, I mean, not. don't get me wrong, I, I do think he has 10 terrible movies, but uh, I just thought it was unnecessarily kind of mean for no reason, but uh, we did it and I read it and it was fine and whatever, and they are terrible movies, so what are you gonna do? Click was okay. Click was okay, I thought that was a weird entry. Yeah. Sean Anderson wants to know, hey Rebecca and Dan, yell, just wondering if you have any guilty pleasure songs, and if you do, what are they? I will start this answer by saying I don't believe in guilty pleasure things because I say be proud of what you like and stick by your opinions. That being said, uh, I can actually tie in my answer to this to the last question, which was, um, what was the last question? It was, uh, do you ever disagree with the lists you're doing? And uh, once we did cheesy videos and they made me put uh, Backstreet Boys videos. It was like an amalgam of Backstreet Boys videos on it. And I am a big Backstreet Boys fan. Guilty pleasure, theoretically. So, I was not super happy about reading that entry. Ta-da! Full circle. Your turn. Uh, I like Hemorrhage by Fuel. That's a really, that's a, that's a pretty real song. That's a good song. It's a great. I, from the 90s. From the 90s. I really like that song. Um, Less popular is, I kind of like Figured You Out by Nickelback. That's a, you're not allowed to tell, well, now this is on the internet. Anyway. And finally, Carlo Di Ocampo says, Dear Rebecca and Dan, do you have any childhood cartoons or anime you grew up with? P.S. A fan from the Philippines here. Childhood cartoons, we've mentioned this before. Don't say Darkwing Duck. I, it was Darkwing Duck. <laughs> also Ninja Turtles. I was super big on Ninja Turtles when I was really young. I watched both of those shows, but I didn't know. I guess I watched Muppet Babies when I was a kid. Uh, uh, you know, 
All those, I watched all those shows. Like what? All the shows. <laughs> like all she, the shows. She's paling it. Basically. She's just... paling it, you know, like, yeah. all the newspapers. <laughs> Good call. I, if you just look at our top 10 cart, Inspector Gadget. Yeah. Uh, look at all the top 10 cartoons of the 80s and 90s. I watched all of them. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Quick reminder to you, Mojoholics, if you want your questions answered, the best way to get them to us is to put them on our FAQ Suggest page. Yeah, it's pretty tough to wade through all the comments on all our videos, so that is the best way to ensure yours gets seen. Alrighty then, we can finish up by reading some comments of the week. Deadpool himself commented on top 10 Iron Man armors. Pfft, you call these armor? My katanas would be like, slice, slice! Sobo5080 echoed a sentiment we see a lot in the comments when he commented on the show last week. I'll pay you to narrate my life. I don't even know what to say to that. And finally, Cyborg Agent 6 left this one on top 10 signature dance moves. Twerking made the list. I'm 100% done with the planet. Who wants to move to Mars with me? Sorry. Anyway, guys, thanks as always for the comments and questions. If you want more questions answered, be sure to tune in tomorrow for the FAQ section with me and our special guest, Dave, who is our video game expert. Yes, and if you want your questions answered, leave them here in the comments. Catch us on Twitter or Facebook or email us at watch at watchmojo.com. Don't forget the hashtag WMFAQ. And if you want a nifty t-shirt, head over to watchmojo.com slash store. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching and tune in again next time for another edition of What's Your Mojo? Say hi to your mother for me.